students. Today we're going to read Penguin Place Value, a math adventure. This book was written by Kathleen L. Stone. Do you know what place value is? They're talking about the value of each digit in a number. Some numbers only have one digit. This is the number three. It only has one digit. This is the number 15. It has two digits. The first digit is a one. It is in the tens place. The last digit is a five. It is in the ones place. This one is worth 10. It's a group of 10. This five is worth five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So when we count by tens, we're talking about this digit. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, or 90. When we talk about this one, we're talking about counting by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So this book is about place value, but it's also about penguins. This is a great story. I hope you enjoy it. Penguin Place Value, a math adventure by Kathleen L. Stone. Way down south in the snow and ice lived a family of penguins who were really quite nice. And it's a rhyming book too. They worked hard all day catching fish by the shore placing them on trays to take back to their store. The trays were quite handy. They really were fine. Problem is, they were small. They only held nine. Just like in the ones place of a number, it only holds nine. When more fish were caught, they were moved once again to a bright yellow box big enough to hold 10. I know something else that's big enough to hold a 10. It's a 10 frame. When it's full, it holds 10. When it's not full, it has what we call some extra ones. Right now, this 10 frame is not full. It holds nine ones because I can't count it by 10. It's not full. But if I filled it up, I would have a group of 10. I know that it always holds 10. It's a 10 frame. There's five in the top and five in the bottom. This one is not full, so those are my extra ones. So here we are with a full 10 frame. So I can just say 10. This one I have to count by ones because it's not full. I count by ones. 10, 11. If it looked like this, I would say 10, 11, 12. So this is like a 10 frame. It's a big bright yellow box and it's big enough to hold 10. It's like the tens place in this number. The digit one is for one group of 10. It's in the tens place, just like this box holds 10. 10 fish to a box, now that was the rule, and they kept them on ice to stay nice and cool. By the end of the day, all the fish had been caught. Now it's time to find out how many fish that they've got. Now remember, these are like our 10 frames. When we touch them, we would count by tens, but this tray, only holds nine. It's like the ones place. It has some extra ones. Count with me by tens when we touch the yellow boxes. They're like full 10 frames. They're groups of 10. Count by ones when we touch the ones in the frame. Are you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 61, 62, 63, 60, 
64. They have 64 fish. Six boxes of fish and four on a tray were stacked by their van to be sent on their way. Six boxes make 60. Remember when we counted by tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. This number six is worth six groups of 10. That digit is worth 60. The four ones is only worth four. And 60 plus four is equal to 64. This six is worth 60, and that four is worth just plain old four because this is in the tens place and this is in the ones place. Tomorrow's a new day. These fish will be bought. We hope you come back and count new fish we've caught. I wonder how many fish they're going to catch the next day. Well, we might not know that, but we can match numeral cards to our numbers. How many red circles do I have in my 10 frame? Does it match this card? No. This number would have two groups of tens and zero extra ones. It doesn't have two full 10 frames, so we know that card's not right. Does it match this card? Well, there's one full group of 10, so there is a one in the tens place. One group of 10 and four extra ones. This number is 14. Does it match this one? Are there four extra ones? No. What number do I need? I need the number 12. One group of 10 and two extra ones. One group of 10 and two extra ones. Thank you so much for reading about place value with me. It's very important, especially in teen numbers because teen numbers always have one group of 10. That's why teen numbers always start with a one. 12 starts with a one. 13 starts with a one. 14 starts with a one. What number is one more than 14? You're right, 15. And it starts with a one because it has one group of 10. How many extra ones should I put in there to match that card? You're right, it's going to need five extra ones. I don't even have to count them because I know that the first row in a 10 frame holds five. This number shows one group of 10 and five extra ones. What is one greater than 15? It's 16 and in a 10 frame, it would look like this. Thank you so much for studying these with me. I wonder, would you be able to do this activity on your own? Could you match 10 frames to number cards? Would you be able to do it in order from least to greatest? Hmm. Thank you so much for your work with me today. Go show me how much you know about teen numbers.